This is, you can see, uh, coming into Clark Summit, the intersection of uh, six and, U.S. 6 and 11 east of the Comfort Inn and Clark Summit. And it's not to be confused with a sign that's out, I think, out in uh, Minnesota uh, with showing George Bush's face. Because, personally, I really don't miss George Bush. Uh, he basically has hit under a rock, doesn't give a damn about the mess he helped to create, nor does he care about the damage Obama is doing to this country. He sold us out on, uh, on the border guards, and he sold us out. Uh, he's no damn good. He's a zip. He's a zero. And so old George, no, I don't miss you yet. But I do miss the Constitution, and that's a very important thing because there is a gentleman who's running against Chris Carney does not care about the U.S. Constitution, who does Specter, Arlen Specter, or Senator Casey. Uh, they all voted uh, to um, supersede the U.S. Constitution and voted for mandatory health insurance. And apparently we finally have somebody, Dr. David Madeira, who is against uh, the mandatory health insurance um, that that Carney's trying to shove down our throat. And it's not so much that, it's not even if you have health insurance, if it's not the right type of health insurance, you could be fined, uh, arrested, and jailed, and they'll come for you at, at gunpoint. In any event, um, that is the, the deal with the... Um, the sign, which everybody should see and help support and make more of them. Now, the email I just got, apparently it was uh, it was on the Glenn Beck show. It's about a 53-year-old uh, registered Democrat from Arizona who's really upset, and she's really concerned about the U.S. Constitution. There must be someone. Please tell me who you are. Please stand up and tell me that you are there and you'll you'll will be fight for our constitution that is written. Please stand up now. And that's the whole problem because our constitution has just been blown away by people like Pelosi and Re, uh, Senator Reid and Obama. They don't care about the US constitution. They've done everything to get around it and no one says a goddamn thing about it. With the czars, the cap and trade. Now, the, the, the beautiful thing about cap and trade is Specter and Casey are against it, or for it, rather. And uh, Senator Carney says, I mean, Congressman Carney says he's, he's against cap and trade. Well, that's what he said about the bailout bill. I want to see him prove it. He fooled me once on the bailouts. I want to see him prove to me by attacking uh, Carney and, and, and Specter on their stand on cap and trade. Either he's for it or against it. I don't want him in the middle of the road. He's no damn good. We got to get rid of him. He voted against our rights. He doesn't care about the U.S. Constitution. He doesn't care about putting everybody in jail who doesn't go along with his bill. That's that's our buddy. That's our buddy, um, Chris Carney. And we got to do something to um, get him out of office. We have to vote him out. There's just too much control of the government, as this lady points out. You have Acorn, which is a joke, which which basically got. Um, Obama in registering uh, registering people who were illegal aliens. This is unbelievable, totally unbelievable. Now the now who Obama thinks is rich is coming down and down and down and down. I would like Obama to explain how the hell he got his wealth. I mean, it just came to him in droves. Unbelievable. Came here without a penny, and I don't begrudge anybody coming here and making something of themselves. But this guy has been backed. I don't know what the hell it is, but there's something very fishy about that. How he got his money, uh, as far as they don't want to, um, they don't want to give deductions on charitable contributions. Uh, they want to have the government dole out all the money. They want more power. We got the bailouts, the uh, transparency, accountability. There is none. It's all a joke. And the, our, our our debt is so high, we'll never get out of it. We'll never get it. It's, it's, I don't know if this is savable at all, folks. I hate to, hate to break this to you. But um, the fact that they're giving uh, these rights to certain people, this is simple. Oh, damn good. And we'll go back to the other one about that sign. Um, miss me yet? Yes, I miss the U.S. Constitution. I totally do. I totally miss the U.S. Constitution. And we need somebody committed to get it back. And... Um, the other candidates running against Carney are not really, uh, have not shown to me a commitment to the U.S. Constitution. It seems 
It seems very uh, basic, but it's the most important thing that we have. Because without honoring the Constitution and the men who created it, um, you will soon find yourself as just a, um, just a basically uh, cattle being harvested by big business, by the government, and we have to get our rights back. And that's what we have to do. And once again, uh, David Madaria, uh, you can contact tact him at uh, dmaddc at gmail.com. And you can call him at 570-763. Looks like win one. And this picture is in Clark Summit. And is not to be confused with the famous billboard out in the West. I think uh, out in Minnesota. Uh, touting George Bush because I really don't miss him. The son of a bee sold us out. Um, I voted for him twice. I voted for his father twice. But let me tell you. Uh, but George Bush, uh, GW, taught me a lesson that there's no difference between the two political parties. They're just basically two sides of the same coin. And we need people who are going to support the U.S. Constitution. So that's about it. Um, catch you later.